In the very beginning of our existence as a human race, there lived two people, two well-known celebrities in the holy Christian world named Adam and Eve, who committed the absolutely atrocious and irrehensible act of eating fruit. And for those who have not yet read the Bible or have not seen the directed DVD movie of said book, you do not know what happened to Adam and Eve for the utterly deplorable crime they did. God, who has forgave even the worst of transgressions, did not hold back and condemn them to be fat, porky, big, plump, flabby, any synonym you could come up with for the word fat. When I got to that chapter in the Bible, I was heartbroken to read what God condemned them to. Oh, and if you don't believe me, then here, look, it says it right there. But me, Javier Tosuk, a humble and well-mannered man, can look past and not blame Adam and Eve for this disgusting deed they performed because food is amazing, man. I feel bad for the people who don't have it. Like, shout out to Africa, bro. You missing out for real. Food has been evolving ever since Christian times. Like, back in 1980, they ate rocks and shit, but now in 2023, the year of the rainbow, we eat lavish and luxurious foods like cock macaroni and nut master. Oh my god, bro, just rubbing some nut all over the bun man bro it's a delicacy where i'm from and all of it slap especially golden gay times my favorite popsicle flavor like food is just wonderful every time my mom puts some mystery meat on my plate i just can't help but lick my lips rub my hands together and dig in even when we go out to eat at subway or mcdonald's i just can't wait to pull the door open go in and order the same thing that i've been ordering for the past five years and enjoy it like i was actually living in africa you can choose from a large sum of foods like fruits and veggies carbohydrates proteins and whatever vegans but all of these are so heavenly when you just put them in your mouth and consume each nutrient with pleasure. This is why I can't hate on fat people for being so large. But back in my dark and decrepit past, I made fun and ridiculed you blobs of mass. Bro, okay, what? Why am I spitting bars all of a sudden, bro? Like... <laughs> I have since grown as a person and as a man trying to better myself and understand you 300 pound units. And now I do. People this size are so infatuated with food and have been their whole lives that it just gives them a comfort that can't be pleased with anything else. They look at food as a sign of hope and that things will get better. Most chaps, gals, and non-categorized individuals have some sort of trauma they face like tragic death in their lives or losing an overwatch in where food is the only thing that can bring them peace. Well, except if you have a thyroid problem, then I guess you can't control your size. But don't threat don't worry i got you bruh here take some ibuprofen that'll get you right my boy <laughs> so stupid man some people look towards the gym or friends as a way of happiness, but the huge motherfuckers look at food. Everyone can make fun of you for being just a pile of lard, looking like Pearl from Spongebob, but in reality, they just don't appreciate food like you do. Y'all that ass cooked, ate, and left no crumbs. There comes a point in where you just gotta respect that. You pudgy dudes know the true meaning of how much food is really worth and the value of eating good. Like the food that you suck into your esophagus just makes you feel tingly and warm inside. That might be the diabetes and heart disease, but still. The feeling you get with every consumable item of nutrition is not easily matched. I can confidently say that any sexual relations performed with someone of age, you gotta be careful out there fellas, is not the same as having a triple bossy deluxe on a raft. Even though I'm still a virgin, so uh, I wouldn't take my advice but that's just me. So I get why y'all big kids are so spherical and mushable, but there comes a day in where you need to make the tough decisions in your life to better your well-being whether it be physical, mental, or social. You eating all this food is making you unhealthy. You could say that you're bulking, but I guess you've been bulking for the past 54 years and haven't lifted a weight once except your own. If you don't stop these habits, then there will be fatal repercussions towards yourself and emotional repercussions towards your loved ones. No one wanna be on my 600 pound life, get made fun of by commentary YouTubers, and have Dr now say that you're going to have to lose 200 pounds in six months just to get the gastric bypass surgery so instead of you making the sequel to the whale you just gotta eat less and do more exercise i know it will be hard the road ahead does not look easy but with support from people around you and a bit of motivation anything is possible i know you can do it and accomplish your goals so you can be happy with yourself and look back at your life with a smile on your face so in conclusion i genuinely want kids teens and adults that are overweight or obese to start living their best and healthy lives and not end up like Lizzo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. <coughs> My fucking throat, Jesus.